Your name, ma'am. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Um, yes, my name is uh, Rosa Maria Chaturvedi, and I am here. Um, I work for the Westside Center for Independent Living, uh, which is an independent living center uh, located in the west side of, the, uh, of Los Angeles. Um, I am also a commissioner for the Los Angeles County uh, on the Commissions on Disabilities, appointed by uh, Supervisor Sheila Gill. And um, I am a, I work um, at WCIL for 15 years as an information referral dash case uh, manager. And I am here to address the supervisors as a commissioner. So I am very very concerned with the uh, current situation that is happening at the center at the Westside Center for Independent Living. Uh, the community is not properly served, and they are being neglected, and they are, um, they are uh, how can I tell you, um, neglected. The uh, LCIL is serving the community for 40 years, and we have a new ED that joined in 2015. So after a few months of her arrival, uh, crucial services uh, for the community were affected as applying for benefits, um, benefits appeals, housing, employment, assistive technology. You know, people come to our doors for help. For help because they are poor and they are disabled. They always told me. And they always have told me that they come to our center because oh, we need to serve, we serve them with dignity and respect. We need to help to address this issue. Thank right. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. My, my staff is going to talk to you right, right now. Just right. on the other Next. side of the rail. Hi. Go right ahead, sir. Hi, my name is Jeff Eichelson, and uh, I'm here with my colleague, Rosa Maria. I'm a uh, president of a very small union and uh, part of what was stated. Um, problem is that the Westside Center for Independent Living has engaged in a very um, aggressive and unlawful campaign um, of union aversion. In fact, the National Labor Relations Board recently issued um, a uh, authorized charge with respect to bad faith bargaining. Uh, that's Region 31. I have confirmation here. And it's most unfortunate as an individual who is a liberal, deeply committed to liberalism, that I reside in a city that's arguably one of our county and city, it's arguably one of the most liberal in the country. And I'm so very proud for that. And arguably one of the most liberal states in the country at an organization that is required statutorily to provide services to people that has a liberal agenda. However, the tactics that have been employed by this liberal organization, or by this organization, don't have enough time here. But needless to say, 17 charges are authorized by the NLRB. There's been labor commissioners charges for wage and hour violations. And uh, what's most distressing for me, as I say, I'm deeply committed to liberalism, uh, the elections that just took place. And I see a lot of what happened as the people um, challenging the liberal establishments that they otherwise would, would trust and would support because a lot is not happening. I know it from the bottom. I see the organizations not delivering what they are supposed to deliver. The county board discusses it, and you have it from a very top perspective. But at the bottom, there are some serious problems. This is a case in point. Thank you very much Thank for you. your testimony. We'll take the next speaker, please.